eTiger proposal and document designer is the ultimate sales tool for document creation and automation. It's capable of creating professional documents which support electronic signature and much more. So let's get started. First, let's go in our opportunity which we have proposal designed. I will click the document designer button and then I will send email to the prospect with the proposal by clicking on this email icon and instead of sending it to the customer I will open it up and see the way that the recipient would see the proposal so this way we can preview the proposal and explore the functionality click here and the proposal is completely web-based and mobile friendly page which will allow your prospects and customers to view on a mobile or a desktop. So we can see the sales rep information, name and phone numbers and this is just a cover page that we're looking at. Again this was designed for the CEO proposal and as we scroll through the document we can see the information about the company few images, text blocks, development process, all of that is a static text designed within the proposal. I can also use the table of contents to go through the document instead of scrolling. Once we get to the pricing details, this is where we can sign and accept the proposal. One of the nice features of this tool is that it allows you to request for electronic signature as well as update the information back from the document to vTiger. So for example if I then check those check boxes though this is what is filled in vTiger on that opportunity I can change the information from one to another and once we accept and sign the proposal all of that information will then flow back into vTiger's opportunity record. And before I sign the record I want to show you the notes section which can be completely customized as well as the attachments which can be uploaded as a static documents for your prospects or customers to download from within the proposal screen. In addition we have ability to put initials as needed and the signature part you can either click OK or accept and you can simply put in a signature and put in a signature name and then hit signed and accept. Once the document has been signed, the information will then show up in VTag. If we switch back to our opportunity record, we can see under signed documents there are few proposals that we accepted. You can click on the file name and it will download the PDF version of the proposal. It also works as a good replacement for the PDF maker. Switching back to opportunity, um, if we go to opportunity details, we can see that the sales stage has been set to closed one and that is because the OK button updates the sales stage to closed one and that is completely customizable as well. If I go to the updates, I can see that the payment method, down payment, nonprofit has also been updated to the values that we specified on the proposal. So let's see what's going on behind the scenes in the document designer. So I'll just open the tool from the menu and the CEO proposal is the document that we're working with. I'll go ahead and open that and now you see the tool that allows us to design those professional documents and proposals. We can see that these are just simple merge fields that come from the properties section. You'll be able to pick the module, either the primary or the related module, and then pick the fields and merge them into the proposal. Same way as the email templates work. This is the cover page designed by us. And as we scroll down, we can see a few images, design elements. And as we keep scrolling, it's just the, basically the 
proposal that we saw on the web version. This tool allows us to design professional proposals very easily. For example, if I go to my blog section, you can see we have a lot of predefined elements such as cover page. We can add, we can simply add heading by just dragging and dropping. I'll just demo that real quick. You drop it in, put in the heading, and it goes up there. It applies to all the other elements as well, such as text, footer, header, pricing tables, simple tables, terms and conditions, images. So it's very simple and easy to use tool to design any type of a document. If you scroll down, uh, you will see the fields that we updated back to the opportunity record. And these are the fields that we added as interactive fields, which basically mean that whatever the customer puts in, it will go back onto the record of VTiger. Those fields can also be very added very simply. So the first thing, I would go to Fields, drag and drop one of my fields, and then from the properties, I would just select what should be updated, put the cursor, insert, and it's as simple as that. In addition, I could change the field to be mandatory as well as we can disable the ability for them to input text, which in that case, it would just be a merged field on the document. Um, as you noticed in the fields, we have a, a lot of other options such as checkbox, date. We can make this document interactive within the prospect or the customer. We have initials, or we can drop anywhere on the screen, and most importantly, we have a signature section. So if I scroll down, I'll just drop in the signature right here. And assuming we would send this proposal, the prospect or the customer would then be asked to put in the signature once they click on that pencil icon or one of the buttons in the proposal. Um, the other nice feature about this tool is that we can specify the email template that goes out to the prospect or the customer. If I click on the email section, you can see we have the subject and the predefined email template. The email template can be adjusted right before you send the proposal. And again, we have a link for your customers to click to open the proposal. Next, we have the general tab, which includes the but two buttons that we saw on the proposal. And those buttons can be completely customizable. First, we can change from OK to Accept. And then we can change what happens when each button is clicked. So I'll switch back to the proposal real quick to make sure that we're still on the same page. So this is the proposal, and these are the two buttons. And again, I'll switch back to the designer. And you can change the labels of those two and what happens when each button is clicked. So if, I, if an Accept button is clicked, the Sales stage will be updated to Close 1. If the Decline button is clicked, it will change to Close Lost. And you can add as many fields as needed when the button is clicked. The other amazing feature is the background. You can change the background of the proposal to reflect your business. That is a minor detail, but it's really nice to have such ability. The next option is the history tab. What this is, is basically an ability to keep track of all the changes that you made to your proposal. If you want to roll back, you'll be able to see what has been changed, and you'll be able to simply click and restore from the earlier version of the proposal in case something goes wrong throughout the process of creating the proposal. You can also export it to PDF by just clicking this download button. The other nice feature I would like to demo is on the quotes, invoices, and sales orders. So I'll switch to one of our demo templates for quotes. And the feature is the item details. It allows you to quickly create an item detail section within the proposal without doing any design work. So this is a already pre-designed pre 
table, so I'll just go ahead and remove it. And from the blocks, I will just drag and drop the pricing table, and it gives me the pre-designed fields and totals. But I will click on this gear icon, and then what this allows me to do is select the fields from the from the products and services, and then select the totals that I would like to see on my table. In addition, I can pick a theme, and once I hit OK, the table has been pre-designed, and it will merge on the proposal as it looks right here. Um, one of the other features that I'd like to cover is the workflows. This tool allows us to create and schedule documents to be signed. So if I go to my workflow list, I have created one already, it's sent invoice. So I'll just go through the process and go to the third step, which is add tasks. And this is where we'll able to click add to do and send the proposal or any document with this tool. So if I would click send email, instead I will just edit the existing one that I have. You can see you specify the from and to details for the email as well as the subject. You would select the PDF or the proposal template from the document designer. And then in the email content, you would put in what goes there. And then again, the link to click and open the attachment as well as the online proposal. This tool is very convenient for creating professional documents for quotes, invoices, sales orders, extensive proposals for opportunities, or again, quotes. In addition, we have ability to use it for surveys as well as to update information back from the proposal back to the V-Tiger. So if you see, if, say if you need to request any information from a contact, you could send a design document, they would fill it out, and all the information would flow back into V-Tiger. We'll have a few more videos created how that works shortly.